The Arbor Terrace is named for the wisteria-covered wooden archway, or arbor, that stands at the western end of this garden room. The wisteria offers shelter from the bright sunlight that washes over the stone patio that accounts for the rest of the area. The wide curving bays and stone surfaces are often covered by plants and pots, which change from year to year and season to season. When Beatrix Farron designed this space, she called it the Herb Garden. Farron drew inspiration from the European model of a Giardino Segreto, a secret garden. The arbor design is based on a drawing of wooden galleries in the Chateau de Montargis, a castle in the Loire Valley in France, sketched by the French artisan and designer Jacques André de Cerceau. Mildred Bliss later chose to revise the terrace with the landscape architect Ruth Havey. In 1955, they replaced Farron's grass with the current Tennessee crab orchard stone. The most notable permanent features of the room are a lead mask, which serves as the fountainhead of a gentle trickle of water that feeds into a small pool, and a plaque inscribed with a passage from Dante's Purgatorio. The plaque commemorates the Bliss's friendship with the Italian ambassador Gelasio Caetani. Taken from Canto 28 of the Canticle, the passage means, Those who in time of old once sang of the Golden Age and of its happy state, perchance upon Parnassus dreamed of this place. Oh.